a certain age, the Mercedes-Benz stands for imperious large saloons, impregnable build quality and pioneering technology. Now, obviously, Mercedes-Benz has been extending its mighty reach in all sorts of directions for years now, parachuting its enviable brand values into segments you might not expect it to go into. But this, the Citan, which conjoins City and Titan, is its first ever light van. Well, I do like to make us wait, don't I? But it's been worth it. It's as though the Citan was born to wear that famous badge, and it looks exactly like you'd expect a small Mercedes van to look. As with the established Mercedes commercial vehicle range, you can configure your Citan in a mind-boggling number of ways. Just to get you started, three different wheelbases are available on the panel van, compact, long and extra long, with an additional two different body styles, the Semi-Van Semi-MPV Dual Liner and the five-seat Travel Liner, taking the Citan firmly into a more car-like realm. And that's something that underpins it. I had a van when I was a student and there's something about their absolute sense of purpose that really appeals to me. The Citan manages to be a proper van. It has a transport capacity of up to 3.8 meters cubed and a payload capacity of between 330 kilograms and 735 kilograms, depending on the body style you go for. But crucially, you can also really hustle it. The three things I really look for when I'm driving a car, positive steering, compliant ride, sharp handling, well, they're all pretty accomplished in here. Yes, it's a business tool, first and foremost, but it's a business tool. You can actually have some fun driving. I mentioned that Mercedes has a long history as a technology leader. The Citan inherits much of that with features like adaptive ESP as standard, which factors in the vehicle's load and works in tandem with the ABS to keep you online. There's also brake assist and start off assist to prevent the vehicle from rolling back during hill starts. It's an impressive armory. That uh, van I had when I was a student that I mentioned earlier on goes without saying that it didn't have anything like that. It also um, ended up with only one door mirror after an unfortunate incident in an Irish bog. But that's another story. There are four engine variants in the Citan range, three iterations of 1.5 litre diesel, and the 114 horsepower, 1.2 litre turbocharged petrol, 112 blue efficiency, which has CO2 emissions of 140 grams per kilometer and averages 46.3 miles per gallon. They're all Euro 5 compliant. As ever, it's about delivering genuine choices for the end user, but meaningful ones. I drive a pretty huge annual mileage in all sorts of different cars, so I know full well how important a comfortable and functional in-car environment is. This cabin's pretty much going to become like a second home. So features like the multi-adjustable seat, storage space everywhere in here, and the LCD audio system with Bluetooth and MP3 compatibility are very important. The steering wheel feels great in your hands, and there's a 60-liter airbag in there. And not only that, but you can configure the exterior and the interior of the Citan even further. Take, for example, the driver's pack, which adds air conditioning, electric folding door mirrors, and an ultrasonic reverse parking sensor definitely a van that thinks it's a car but at the end of the day it is still a van and that means it's got a colossal amount of space access to the cargo areas via sliding side doors or rear split asymmetric rear doors which can be opened through 90 or 180 degrees if you undo the stays or you can go for a full-size hatch door if you prefer Four, six or eight load tie-downs are set into the floor, depending on the vehicle's length, with the option of up to four rings in the sidewall. There's even an optional movable sidewall rail. And with 1,219 millimeters clearance, you can fit a Euro pallet between the rear wheel housings. So a car that thinks it's a van, or a van that thinks it's a car, it's both. <laughs>